an article in The Athletic written by Chandler Rome is about the reason McCormick, Chaz McCormick, might not be playing as much. Chandler, who is great, starts this article off by saying uh, a quote by Dusty Baker. It's easy if you got a Julio Rodriguez. You just put him out in center field. Chaz McCormick entered Wednesday with an OPS 50 points higher than Julio Rodriguez. <laughs> Yet nothing about McCormick's playing time this season suggests that McCormick is appreciated on a level his statistics should indicate. Six Astros have had more plate appearances than him this year. Seven have appeared in more games. His sporadic playing time is a constant source of frustration for some within the organization who spoke on background because they were not authorized to speak publicly. The reason... It seems like it's Chaz McCormick's weight, at least in the eyes of some. He's listed at six foot, 208 pounds on pro baseball reference. But he acknowledged in this article, he's playing at 220 pounds. So this article continues. Chandler asked Chaz McCormick about his relationship with Dusty Baker. And not exactly the best endorsement of Baker when you get this for an answer, quote, right now we're okay. It's really all about winning each game here on out with no distractions. We're good. I guess Dusty Baker has taken issue at some point this year with Chas McCormick's weight. Is it recent? Is it something that took place a while ago? Honestly, I do not know the answer to it. Sometimes speculation by others who are not in the know is based off of a hunch or based off of something that might not be the case anymore. When asked yesterday if McCormick's weight is a concern for him, Baker said, quote, no. Why would you even ask that? He continued saying that's something you're always aware of, you know what I mean. As long as it doesn't affect your performance, it's not really that much of a concern. Does that mean that's not something going through Dusty Baker's mind? But here's, I, I think, the reason that this story became a story because Chaz McCormick even acknowledged it. When Chaz McCormick went on his injured list stint at the beginning of the year before coming back in May, he said that he gained weight. And I bet that when he first came back, as any coach would probably be, seeing that he's not in the shape that he was in before, I think that would be a cause for concern. Now, baseball is one of those weird sports where the body type really does not affect you that much in a way where it does in basketball, <clears throat> James Harden, in football. I actually kind of like the Dusty Baker saw Chaz McCormick come back from the injured list. Guy who had potentially uh, won the World Series for you or been a large part of winning the World Series for you. Saw that he wasn't in the best shape and might have taken issue with it. And I bet that's where this all comes from. And I bet those people that Chandler Rome spoke with, I bet those people are thinking about that moment in time where maybe there was some frustration expressed about McCormick returning from the injured list at the weight that he was at and thinking to themselves, oh man, well, maybe he's still mad about the weight. He's playing at a bulkier weight this year. He is having this best season of his career, picking backing off of these playoffs. And it's not like he's not playing a lot. He's played in 43 of the last 50 games. So this might be an article that was written about things happening in the past. I haven't talked with Chandler about it. I would actually be curious to know a little bit more on that front. And I don't think this is a bad article like some of you sensitive babies get about anything that is remotely critical of the Astros. This is what happens when you are in the midst of a dynasty run. There are going to be stories that come out from time to time about the drama in the clubhouse. It is interesting that Chaz McCormick does not play every night. It is interesting that Yiner Diaz does not play every single night. I'm not going to get mad at Dusty Baker every night for it, but I understand those people who do get mad about it. And we all want to know the answer to it. This might be a reason as to why Chaz McCormick hasn't played as much in totality this season. But it also is not a indication that what Dusty Baker is doing is wrong. That's the other part of it. Now, I joked last night, Chaz McCormick with a little load management. Look at that. He hits a home run. It is possible that the way Dusty Baker has been handling the lineup is actually advantageous for guys like Chaz McCormick and Yiner Diaz, just as much as it is possible that it is holding the Astros' offense back. I think you have to be a little bit open to both here if we're taking a look at this article. So that's where I'm at. I, I think it's an interesting piece. I think it is fair that 
these people in the organization, that's what they believe was the reason for Chaz McCormick maybe not playing as much at first. But of late, has he not played a lot? It is tricky now that Michael Brantley is back. It just, it, it, there's there's a lot of, Sean's nodding his head right now, and I'm, I'm sure you had some similar thoughts on that. Yeah, that to me is where I, I think, because like you mentioned, McCormick had played a lot the last 50 games, but now that Brantley is coming in, it just adds another bat that I can understand why if Dusty is having these hangups with uh, McCormick or just like minor little, huh, you know, would like him to maybe be like 10 pounds lighter issues, then I can see why that gives him basically an excuse to not uh, to leave him out of the lineup, you know? Yeah. I, I can see how this, even though in the very recent past, it's not an issue, how going forward, how, you know, things are things have changed. There's an extra bat available for Dusty, a, a very good bat, a bat that's come in and hasn't skipped a beat since he's been out for 13 months. I can see how this might be this might be an article that we look back on if McCormick doesn't play, you know, if he only plays two or three games in a series in an ALCS series or something. It's something that we can look back on and say like, "Oh, the kind of seeds were there." They were there. But we also have to get to the postseason, Sean. And in the postseason, there is a good chance that Dusty Baker continues to ride with Chaz McCormick. Yeah. What is really tricky right now is that in Michael Brantley, you have a guy that just gives you a lot more outfield depth. And here's the thing. He's playing well. I did not think that we would get this version of Michael Brantley when he came back into the lineup. I did not. No. But he's been awesome since he's been back. Chaz McCormick has been awesome. Mauricio Dubon has been awesome. Like really, the only Astros outfielder that's not doing anything is Jake Myers. And I guess Kyle Tucker, who's been your MVP in yeah. this series against the Rangers. So that's tricky. And on top of that, okay, the Martin Maldonado versus Yiner Diaz stuff. It's tricky to me. It is. And there is an option where you could put Yiner Diaz a little bit more at first base. And maybe all of these things happen in the postseason. But I, I don't think there's anything worth really fretting about when it comes to the Astros lineup other than they have so much depth, and that's good, especially considering where the offense has been for the last three games. So some people are going to be salty about this article. I think a couple of people in the Twitch said it's because there seems to be a personal beef between Chandler Rome and Dusty Baker. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Honestly, I can't speak to that. All I can speak to is that those who cover the team every single day probably do get annoyed seeing as much Martin Maldonado as they do, and at least until this series against the Rangers, as much Jose Abreu as they do. Yeah, because for guys in the organization, you know, front office types, scouts, all that, they see they see the same numbers that we're looking at. They probably even see more numbers that, that uh, we don't see. And I understand if we, just sitting on our couches at night, are frustrated or, you know, on our phones when we see the Astros lineup tweet go out and Jeremy Branham ask what's wrong with Dusty's lineup. If we have hangups and if we have issues with the lineup, I imagine the people that work for the Astros yes. would also have a, have issues with it. This, to me, like you mentioned, like there's always going to be some sort of uh, locker rooms, clubhouses aren't always going to be 100% harmonious, even at the top. And I say, especially at the top, they're not going to be completely harmonious. And this to me, like, I don't see any issues with this. This doesn't make me feel worse about the Astros going into the stretch run or going into the yeah. postseason. I just think it's an interesting article that Chandler did a good job. on. I agree. I agree.